Hello, it's Rachel from the Flint River Aquarium and we are in our aviary today and we are going to talk about our cattle egrets. We have two pairs, Bo and Bessie, and they are just over here. Well, at least one of them's over there. The other one might be hiding, but hopefully they'll come out and say hello. But cattle egrets get their name from following large animals such as cows and horses or machines like tractors to eat invertebrates stirred up from the ground. They will also fly towards smoke from long distances away to catch insects fleeing a fire. Elsewhere in the world, they forge alongside camels, ostriches, rhinos, and tortoises. In elaborate courtship displays, the males spread their wings, fan their plumes, and prance from foot to foot. After finding a mate, the male selects a nest site which is usually in the top outer branches of a medium to tall tree or shrub in a swamp, marsh, or upland. Both birds build the nest, but the female does most of the construction with materials brought to her by the male. The nest is a shallow, untidy bowl with a foundation of robust sticks, a upper an upper layer of smaller twigs or vines, and sometimes a lining of soft plant materials. These birds are native to Africa and Asia and began expanding worldwide in the 1800s, reaching North America in the early 1950s. Cattle egrets are now established in parts of Southern and Eastern United States, and their range is still slowly expanding. Their rapid spread stems from versatile feeding and breeding abilities, an aptitude for dispersing to new areas and adapting to changing landscapes they gain foraging habit, habitat as people convert land for livestock production and crops. Cattle egrets may benefit the livestock industry by eating flies and on rare occasion ticks from the bodies of cattle. They are sometimes seen as a nuisance because their colonies can be large, noisy, smelly, and close to populated areas. They are sensitive to pollution and water supplies in agricultural fields. They accumulate residues on some contaminants in their feathers, leading some researchers to suggest they are a useful species for monitoring levels of environmental pollutants. So I hope you all enjoyed learning all about cattle egrets and meeting our lovely mating couple, Bo and Bessie. We hope to see you all soon at the Flint River Aquarium and stay tuned for more videos.